Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Mod Spotlight series where today we are having a look at the LC1 Laser Carbine mod which is being made by user Crimson Matrix and what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a fun new energy weapon, the LC1 Carbine, and I love this gun. As of course you guys know me, I'm always a sucker for any energy weapon mods. I'm a big fan of that category of weaponry in this franchise, so when I see mods adding new ones in, it makes me happy. Plus, I always do love when mod makers give their weapons a little backstory as to why it exists in the world. And the basic gist of this particular gun is that it is a bit of pre-war technology as it went up against the AER-9 in military testing trials but didn't win. It lost out to the AER-9 but was inevitably picked up and tinkered around with by the Institute. And thanks to that, that's where you'll find these carbines in the world. Once you reach level 20, you'll start seeing these LC1 laser carbines on Institute synths around the Commonwealth. Now, what exactly do you get with this gun? Well, let's take a look at the standard version of the LC1 laser carbine, which is a pretty beautiful little weapon here. Very nice modeling, very nice texturing, a lot of good little details to this thing. Overall, a pretty cool sort of early to mid-ish game gun. Now as for its stats here, it'll do a base level of 39 damage with the standard energy cell, firing rate of 50, range of 227, accuracy of 77, and a weight of 5. All in all, a pretty good, as I said, early to mid game gun. Now, my one problem that I have with this weapon, even though all in all, I like it, is that it's pretty lacking in the modification category. Unlike a lot of other mods out there, or a lot of weapon mods rather I should say, you can't turn this gun into whatever you want. There are some limitations. Pretty much you're stuck with a sort of low level-ish single shot carbine, or well rather semi-automatic, an automatic carbine, or a laser shotgun. Which, hey, is fun. Who doesn't like a laser shotgun? But those are really your three options with this gun. You can't really turn it into a sniper rifle or anything like that. So I hope to see some more modifications on this thing for now or later on. But for now, really, like I said, you can either make the uh, just a slightly more powerful carbine version with semi-automatic or go for that shotgun version which uh, I actually love the change in the barrel as you can see here when you do the shotgun one it has multiple barrels and that that is just fun oh and plus I made it automatic so I mean it's an automatic laser shotgun and who doesn't love that now let's go take a look at the modifications we do have for this thing and of course here to our standard version and in the first category for capacitors we have four options in here for you to use a standard capacitor or an institute standard capacitor the uh, institute one will have slightly less damage but more armor penetration and same thing for the automatic versions the automatic one will have higher damage whereas the institute one will have more armor penetration and of course the institute beam is blue the normal beams are that sort of typical red now next we have the heat sink category which which is effectively your barrel, where we either have the standard one, which is compact and apparently easy to handle, and then the extended heat sink, which is just the longer rifle, which means you'll get more shots with a single power pack, but apparently you'll lose accuracy with that, which is interesting. Now next is the stock. We either have the extended, which is standard, or a collapsed version for greater mobility at the cost of stability. And then in sights, this I think is the uh, the area I really, really hope we get a lot more things in. Uh, because, well, we have either the standard sight, a glow sight, or a holographic sight. I would love to see some more things in here because, well, who doesn't like scopes? They're glorious things. Now the last bit is the emitter, where we can either have the standard emitter or that beautiful shotgun emitter, which as you can see, does really up the damage. 
And of course, though, I mean, it is a shotgun, which has a pretty wide spread on it, so even though it's a lot of damage, you're gonna be really up close and personal with things. But all in all, though, it's fun. So let's take a look at how these things do shoot. And uh, for simplicity's sake, the gun did actually stick with the sort of standard laser uh, rifle animations, just has its own custom models. So I will uh, be quiet here and take some shots. And as you see, it fires pretty darn quickly and actually has some very, very good accuracy just with the iron sights. And actually, I really do enjoy the iron sights on this gun. They're very easy to use, very visible. You have uh, just a good sight line with them. Very nice all in all. And uh, yeah, just the standard version. Pretty pretty nice gun. Now, of course, let's take a look at the uh, longer, slightly more powerful version, which does have the cool holographic sight on it. I do enjoy the look of it. And, of course, this one being the slightly more powerful one has that red beam there, but uh, still just as accurate. Very nice. There we go. Good reload animation. Of course, the standard reload animation, so, I mean, nothing really too new about that. And then, finally... The shotgun version. Because, um, who doesn't like a laser automatic shotgun? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's fun. Now let's see actually how much recoil we have on that. So we're looking right at the bottom of the water there. And fire. Oh, we basically went up to the sun. Lovely, lovely. Oh uh, yeah, that's, that's good. That's good. <laughs> so a little bit hard to control, but all in all... That's just a fun automatic laser shotgun. And you know what that means? It's now time to test out the weapons on our poor test subjects over here of Randy and Will. So let's actually get out the uh, holographic sight one here, which is this one, and take a long range shot on uh, Will. See if we can get him here. Hold steady, my friend. One shot took out a lot of his health. Two shots takes him down. Like I said, not the most damaging of weapons ever, but, you know, it does the job. And actually, even with the hollow sight, that was pretty good accuracy from that distance. So let's switch up to the shotgun version and go say hi to Randy the Radstag. I'm pretty sure that uh, <laughs> the damage on this thing will go a lot quicker. Oh yeah, I mean, I probably could have killed him with one shot there, but we, uh, we did do two because, well, automatic. Kind of hard just to... Just to shoot one with the tap of the mouse button. But yes, that is the LC-1. Oh god, mole rats, more testing on animals. <laughs> yes, that is the LC-1 laser carbine. A very fun new energy weapon that uh, I've really been enjoying my time with. Especially, especially the laser shotgun. It's just fun having a fully automatic laser shotgun that isn't as bulky as the standard in-game energy weapons. In fact, most of the in-game weapons. I do like that this is a sleeker gun that doesn't take up quite so much of the screen and does a pretty good job at what you want it to do. Again, a little limited in modifications, but all in all, I like the variety, I like the look of it, and of course, it's just a fun little gun. So if you'd like to take a look at this weapon for yourself, which I would definitely recommend you go and do, you can take a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that is going to be it for today, folks. I hope you all have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next episode when hopefully we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until then, thank you for watching. And as always, now have a good one.